We all watched as a man turned into a movement. We are going to make our country great again. The headlines, the headgear, and hordes of loyal Trump supporters. And even though President Trump is out of the White House, Trumpism is still going strong. Do you miss me yet? What is Trumpism? An actual ideology or one man's larger-than-life personality? While I wasn't able to snag an interview with the man himself, I did speak with some political pundits. Dr. David Azarad is a professor at Hillsdale College and formerly worked for a conservative think tank in D.C. Dr. Keith Wagner is a poli-sci professor at Florida Atlantic University, right down the road from Mar-a-Lago. They narrowed the concept of Trumpism down to three key themes. Nationalism. I think a nationalist is someone like Trump who says, actually, no, when it comes to politics, the bedrock unit is the nation. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Nativism. Just this idea that people coming into the country were causing issues with the country. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And populism. It's the feistiness, the combativeness, the utter contempt for the corruption of the elites. And this was a tremendous part of his appeal. These experts say the combination of these themes do in fact support a defined ideology, challenging the status quo of political elites while putting Americans and American interests first. But can Trump claim it as his own? Dr. Wagner says no. I think it's probably incorrect to say that President Trump sort of created an ideology, right? Because I, a lot of the, the belief systems that he tapped into were existing, they just weren't dominant. To that point, his MAGA catchphrases have been used before. Warren G. Harding used the slogan, America first, during his presidential run. And Ronald Reagan also wanted to make America great again. To Trump's credit, while the beliefs and slogans aren't new, this certainly is. He's dubbed a master of marketing. His one-liners, you're fired, tweets, and personal attacks, such a nasty one, resonated with his voters. This begs the question, can only Trump do Trumpism? Well, maybe not. UC Berkeley's Center for Right-Wing Studies identified two successors if Trump doesn't run in 2024. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley and Fox commentator Tucker Carlson. Other analysts say Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Senator Rick Scott are also people to watch. The energy and the passion that, that former President Trump unleashed uh, in the Republican Party is not going away. So actual ideology or one man's personality, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to rate this story on our website's Bias Meter.